Hello, my lovelies. Zila Eight here for Machinima Realm, along with my very good friend Calliope. Her and I are doing a very exciting, very awesome new hunter series here for Machinima Realm and Potopia. Our series is called Pets. Cataclysm Edition. In this series, we'll be taking an in-depth look at each pet family and its abilities, as well as showing you all possible pet looks and where you can find them. Now, pets have gotten a huge makeover in patch 4.0.1 leading up to Cataclysm, so we wanted to break down all of those changes to you and kind of simplify it so you know in what situation what kind of pet you are going to need to bring to your raid. One of the most exciting changes that we've gotten in this new patch is of course our 25 pet slots. I know a lot of us have been dying to have more pet slots for forever, so thank you Blizz. Uh, we really appreciate it. Now the 25 pet slots is not only like like nice kind of cosmetic that we get to you know have 25 of the most fabulous looking pets out in Cataclysm but we also have nine different buffs that we can be bringing to raids with pets which is a huge deal so we absolutely need those pet slots so that we can have a pet available for us to use no matter what raid or PvP situation is going to come along. Alright we've got this really fabulous uh, flow chart sheet here that's a really wonderful person named Z made it, um, Z-E-E, -E, not Z like me. Um, and so here's the flow chart, and we're going to break it down a little bit for you. So here we go. All right, starting with Beast Mastery Hunters. Here's this side of the list. Are you missing a priest or a Destro Warlock? Have no fear. You can always bring your Silithid for your stamina buff. Is your raid missing a druid or paladin? Never fear, for Shale Spiders will cover the Blessing of Kings or Mark to the Wild buff. 5% bonus to all stats. Alright, so this one kind of applies for a Cataclysm. When mages are 85, they get Time Warp. But until then, if you are missing a chamois for your raid, have no fear, you can still have your Bloodlust or Heroism with your Core Hound. 30% haste. Oh yeah. This applies to all hunters, you do not have to be Deep Beast Mastery. If your raid is missing a Prot Warrior or Bear Druid tank, never fear, your Raptor or Serpent can bring the 12% armor debuff. Missing a Fury Warrior? Elemental Shaman? No Pandemonium running around? Subtlety Rogue or Fail Druid? No worries, your Wolf or Devil Soar will provide your 5% crit buff. If your raid is missing an Arms Warrior, Combat Rogue, or Frost Death Knight, your Ravager will cover the 4% physical damage buff. Still no sign of that Warlock? What about that Assassination Rogue? Unholy Death Knight? Balanced Druid? They all abandoned you? No worries, your Dragonhawk and Wind Serpent could provide your 8% spell damage buff. Did all your DPS Warriors ditch the raid this week? How about your Enhancement Shaman? Is your Death Knight on vacation? Don't worry, you can still cover the Horn of Winter buff with your Cat or Spirit Beast. Arms Warrior, Feral Druid, and Subtlety Rogue gone AWOL? Don't worry, your Hyena will be there with your 30% Bleed debuff. And should all of these buffs be covered in your raid, you can bring whichever one you want. One of the big basic changes that hunters need to adjust to post 4.0.1 is that your pets, most of the damage dealing abilities are gone. All those pet family abilities have turned into raid buffs. So the big uh, damage dealing abilities for your pets are going to be Bite, Claw, or Smack, which is, it, it's the same Thing. It's, the, it's the exact same ability for each pet family, um, it just with a different name. It's all window dressing. I have to say, all in all, I'm pretty stoked about the pet changes. I know not all the hunters out there are, but um, I, for one, am a very happy camper. I agree completely. I mean, you just got to remember, it doesn't matter where your pets are doing this damage from. They evened out pets across the board, so pets are more in line with each other. So there will not be the raiding pet that everybody has to bring, because they're all going to be doing basically the same damage. 
that about wraps us up for this introductory episode to our new series. Uh, stay tuned for some new videos coming up very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel, Zila8, here on YouTube, or you can find me on zpresents.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.